Hello. I saw a video on how to access the Raspberry Pi remotely. The maker of the video, Pwnager TT, suggested using VNC, which is all very well, but requires the installation of software at both ends, both on the Pi and on the Windows box, or whichever you're using to access the Pi with. So I responded to the video with this comment and a question suggesting other ways of accessing the Pi and whether they'd work. X11 forwarding via SSH and RDP via XRDP. I also figured, hang on, I've got a Pi, so why don't I answer this question myself? So, here's this video. With X11 forwarding, there's nothing extra to install on the Pi. X is a standard way that all Linux and Unix oper based operating systems, with the exception of the Mac, draw windows and like on the screen and it was designed from the outset to work over a network. If you already have PuTTY on your Windows machine, then you just need an X server. I use Xming, but there are others. To use X forwarding, just run the Xming program. You'll see an X appear in the system tray if you compute it. And also make sure that X11 forwarding is enabled in PuTTY. Type the host name instead of the IP address. Routers do give host names as well as IP addresses. To do this, go to SSH under connection. Expand that you see X11. And then tick the box that says enable X11 forwarding. You need to do this or graphical programs won't run. Don't enable X11 forward and you just get a message saying cannot open display. So we log in. And what I'll do is demonstrate this by running Midori, the browser on the Pi that I prefer, and LeafPad, that's the notepad style editor on the Pi. The ampersand after the command lets me multitask in PuTTY. And you can see the X apps opening on there. Kind of like apps within the Windows desktop itself. I mean, obviously you have to launch them from the terminal, but with an X11 server running, it's simply a case of they would just launch as, and just appear in the Windows desktop as apps there. And those black borders around the text boxes only seem to happen on this particular page, which is the Debian package search page. Not sure what the problem is there. As you can see, these apps are actually running from the Pi, but are appearing on the Windows desktop. And if you move the mouse pointer around, you'll see that within the X app, you've got a black mouse pointer as it appears in the Pi. Move outside the window, you get the white mouse pointer as it appears on Windows, as you can see there. But watching that mouse pointer carefully. And there we have managed to browse to the Raspberry Pi homepage, and here we are entering text into LeafPad. Just explaining exactly what's going on. When I see these apps are running on the Windows desktop, they're actually running on the Pi, and the Pi is sending the video, well, sending the interface, you know, gadgets, menus, you know, all the graphical elements, to the Windows PC, and of course any keyboard and mouse is going to the Pi, and it's acting on it. The X server Xming on Windows works exactly as, you know, the way your X server would work on the Pi itself, or indeed on any Linux box. And Xming is the server in this context. The clients as far as X goes are the programs running on the Pi being served with a display, mouse and keyboard on the Windows PC. The disadvantage of X11 forwarding is that it takes up huge amounts of bandwidth and has masses of latency and because of that isn't very good for remoting in over the internet. I'm accessing this from a Windows laptop wirelessly connected to my router to which the Pi is connected via Ethernet. I tried making this video with Pi connected wirelessly it didn't go well.
Next, RDP. Also, you install RDP at the prompt, sudo apt-get install xrdp. As you can see, I've already done this. Installing xrdp does bring down a VNC server as one of its dependencies, and installs itself as a service so that it starts up when the Pi does. There are ways and means to stop that. And if you look in the Start menu and search for Remote Desktop, you'll find a remote desktop connection program. This is pre-installed with Windows 7 and I think Vista and XP as well. Connect to the Pi and you get a login screen. This login screen is coming from your Pi via RDP. And here you notice that you do get the full screen here. You do get the full desktop of the Pi. Notice how it draws the desktop left to right in bands, sort of like a Commodore 64 loading screen. And we'll run the same two apps. The Midori Crash dialog has probably shown up because I'm logged in twice as the same user to the Pi and running Midori twice in both sessions, which it mustn't like. The sessions are entirely separate. You can't share programs between an RDP session and an X11 session. They are completely separate. Yes, and we have that same thing showed up on RDP as well. Also, you can't share apps that are logged in when you're logged in locally to the Pi directly with the keyboard, monitor and TV. You can't share them with, you know, remote logins. Again, completely separate. Though I do believe you can log into the same session via RDP. And again, here we are. Again, with the full desktop, this desktop is running on the Pi via RDP. That we are actually using the Windows computer here, even though we've got the full desktop here. And I believe we're going to demonstrate this by, you know, demaximizing this. There's the blue bar at the top. Which does look like a virtual machine, not just a, <laughs> not just a remote desktop client. And there we have it, there's the session there. Back to Windows. And it's all very VMware, isn't it? But nope, it's definitely on the Pi. As are the putty and the two X icons there. X Windows. Also notice that if you crash that if the X server crashes, all the applications are gone. So if X main crashes or you lose connection between Putty and X main and the Pi, the apps that you had, the work's gone. With RDP and with VNC, there is the possibility of re-logging back in, but not with X11 forward. Which is another consideration to have. <laughs> and as you can see, XRDP on the Pi means no software to install on a Windows PC. Any Windows PC will be able to remote into your Pi using the remote desktop program. Always with a Mac, you'll use a VNC client. A remote desktop, which is based on VNC. Also, RDP is more efficient than X11 forwarding. RDP was designed from the outset to be a network efficient protocol for remote administration of PCs. It's native to Windows, and the version of XTB that comes with Debian uses a VNC server to provide the connection, so it's pretty much the same. You could still use pure VNC if you wanted to, and follow the instructions given by Pornage TT. But certainly, give them both a try.